Hi, my name is Eddie Jackson Jr. and this is America, real true street crime on Patreon. And I got to give a shout out this morning to all my patriots. What's happening? Courtney Draffin, Joseph Knight, Carlos, Dimitri Chapman, Teddy Clark, Q, D. Aaron, D. Ronald Coleman, Bonnie 392, Philip Thomas, Gregory Wilson, Leon Goldsmith Jr., Cheryl Martin, Kirk, Harold Graham, Cedricson Bellamy, Devon, Ricky Flame, Mr. Isaiah Burke, Ivory Bethesby, Zachary Rankins, Emmanuel Macris, Mr. Carl Henderson, Ken Kidd, Backyard Beast Training, Vondra Odoms, Dale Carter, Lynell Nathan, Pauly Dibbs, Lee Bennett, Bonnie, G Twilight, Avion, Mr. Antonio Underwood, Ryan Sockwell, and last but not least, Mr. Lewis Stevens. Sweet Lou, baby, good morning to all my patriots. What's happening? And let me give y'all this one this morning. One of the hardest things you're gonna do in the game after Demetrius got killed, replacing your plug. Understand this, to replace a plug like Demetrius Holloway is a hell of a feat to do. And after Demetrius got killed, this is how it went for me. Here's a, us on America, real true street crime on Patreon, baby. And let me say this to you. Understand this, uh, as I'm saying to all of y'all, to replace your connect. Now, I had to go all the way to New York to replace Demetrius Holloway. And who I replaced him with, the next person I would hustle with, after Demetrius Holloway got killed, was a brother by the name of Big Ed, not Big Ed Hansen, who just went to jail in Ohio. Big Ed, who was running Indigo Blue in New York. He was in the theater district right across from the Marriott Marquis. When I would stay at the Marriott Marquis, I could walk out the Marriott right, Marquis, walk right across the street and walk down into the basement of Indigo Blue, which is where Big Ed was in the best coke in the city, baby, at that time. Coming back 30, baby. I like to tell y'all, when you only put a pinch of soda in there, not even a gram, how can you explain getting 30 back, baby? Because the cane is 101% pure, baby. It's more than 100% pure. So when I was cooking up cane that came back 30 grams, I wasn't even putting a gram of soda on it. So it couldn't have been the soda coming back because it wasn't no soda on it. I only needed a pinch of soda to cook up that 30 gram cane because it was so good. Understand that a pinch, not even nowhere near a gram of soda, would I put on an ounce of that 30 gram shit coming back and get 30 back because it was 101% pure. That's what the real deal was on it. But let me take you back to Indigo Blue. Understand right across in the theater district, the highest rent in America is where Big Ed was selling from. The highest rent in America. So when I would come to town, the first thing I would do is call my man S and have him go over the tree, Branson, the best weed in New York at that time, my man Trees, Branson over there on 145 and say, Nick, every time I pull into town, I had to call my man S and have him go over there to my man Branson, Tree, and get me a jar, understand that, before I go down to Indigo Blue that night. Understand that, I come out and holler at my man as we run over to Branson, and I be straight and ready for the night, because I done got me a jar of that black dot, baby. If you ain't never had it, it was the bomb. I got me a jar of that black dot, and I'm on my way to Indigo Blue to see a show on Thursday night, on Thursday night and cop some keys as well. Let me tell you more about Big Ed when I first met him. I first met him at Courtney Brown Jr.'s apartment on 86 in Columbus. 
my man Courtney Brown Jr. is who introduced me to Big Ed in the Go Blue, baby. So anyway, I met Big Ed on 86 in Columbus at Courtney's apartment. Big Ed at this time had a brand new Jag, black and gold. Me and my cousin Dennis had went up there, and this is the first time I had ever met Big Ed. And Big Ed took me and my cousin Dennis back to Port Authority in his new Jag. We going in there with a brick, hitting the bus, and Craig 250 and my sister gonna pick us up in Cleveland at the bus stop, baby, because it was too hot to catch the bus and come all the way in at Michigan. So when I would catch the bus from Port Authority, <clears throat> my voice is going, which is another reason y'all ain't really heard from me. But when I would catch the bus from Port Authority, I would buy a ticket that said we was going all the way to Detroit. But I had 250 and my sister Trisha picking us up at Cleveland at the layover. You could pull in at Cleveland at about 5 o'clock in the morning. I got Trisha and Craig out there waiting. So as soon as we get off, I have me and Dennis go up, use the bathroom, walk outside like we finna smoke a cigarette, and we jump right in the car with Trisha and Craig and come on to Detroit. I never would come into the Greyhound station in Detroit. It was a no-no. You won't make it like that, baby. So I always came into Cleveland, understand that, then 250 and Trisha would pick us up understand in Cleveland, we drive from Cleveland on from Cleveland to Detroit. And that's how we used to do that thing when I was running with Big Ed, understand this. Now, when I first started fucking with Big Ed, Big Ed was driving a new black jack. We was getting money. At this time, Demetrius Justin got killed. Now, at this time, I'm buying a key from Big Ed. I couldn't get nothing front it because I didn't know him like that. I'm just running to New York every day buying a key and drive back to Detroit. I had Kevin Hill, Rico, and Harlem them. I would dump that key off to and run right back to New York to get another one. So now I'm running the highway every day to get a cocaine, a, a key of cane from Big Ed to come back and sell it to Kevin, Rico, and Harlem them. Understand, I was knocking them off. So each trip I would come back, I was killing them. Me and 250 was road warriors. We go right back. As soon as I drop the Kevin M, I take right back off, grab the cheese, take right back off, go to New York. Big Ed paid on in this shit for about two weeks. He looked at me, he said, man, because he knew I was coming in out of town, and he started saying, damn, nigga, you really moving the crowd. So Big Ed said, I'll tell you what. <clears throat> I see you moving the crowd, man, and y'all are clowning. I'm going to come to Detroit with you. Cool. That's what I need, Big Ed. I need a nigga to come to Detroit with 20, 30 of them bitches. We run them. You run back to New York, come back with 20, 30 more. So this is the plan that me and Big Ed in the Go Blue hat put together, sitting there looking at Mike Epps, sitting there looking at D.L. Hughley, sitting there, Wendy Williams is hosting the show. And all your hottest comedians, Hamburger, said the entertainer, all of them did been to Indigo Blue, baby. And all of them would come back to the Cotillion Club, Courtney Brown style, over there on Puritan, baby. The Cotillion Club, we would have all the same acts that Big Ed had at Indigo Blue in New York. Courtney Brown would bring them to the Cotillion Club right there on Puritan. So I would see them in Indigo Blue in New York. Then I would see them over at the Cotillion Club at Courtney Brown's place. Understand, this is how I was running at the time. Understand that major money was jumping off. And at the time, Big Ed had it going on, baby. All your major celebrities, Mike Epps hadn't even hit it big yet. Understand that Indigo Blue, right there, directly across from the Marriott Marquis, the highest rent in America, baby, is where Big Ed was slinging from. The highest rent in America is where he was slinging from. I walked out of the Indigo Blue, walked across the street, walked down. He was in the basement. They had an Italian joint in the middle joint, and they had another Italian joint up top. It was a three-layer joint. And all your top comedians, Hamburger, Mike Epps, like I told you, D.L. Hughley, all of them had been through Indigo Blue, baby. Wendy Williams was hosting the show. As a matter of fact, 
And that's how I was going after Demetrius got killed. I looked up and ran in the Big Ed, the highest rent district you can get in the States, baby. Try it out for yourself. Go right there to the Marriott Marquis. Walk across the street and walk down into Indigo Blue, baby. It was popping Thursday nights. It was the place to be. Indigo Blue Thursday night, baby, was the place to be. It ain't no telling who you was going to see in that, baby. Wesley Snipes might stop through there that night. Ain't no telling who you going to see in Indigo Blue, baby. Because the coke was rolling and the entertainers was rolling too, baby. Big Ed had it going on. The coke was flowing and so was the jokes. Understand that, baby. Having the time of our lives laughing and joking at the greatest comedians of our lifetime. Said the entertainer, baby. Understand that. Said the entertainer was lighting them up and in the go blue. It ain't many of them I ain't seen up close and personal. I'm in the bathroom smoking a joint. D.L. Hoogley walk in. I asked him, did he want to hit it? He said, man, I don't smoke that stuff. Little did he realize I'm one of the niggas behind paying you, baby. I ain't going to give you nothing but some dynamite smoke, baby. Eddie, baby, baby, understand that talking shit with D.L. Hughley in the bathroom at the Cotillion Club. Talking shit with T to the motherfucking K. And he did smoke with me, baby. T to the motherfucking K did fire up with us in the bathroom and talk some shit with us that we had a ball in the bathroom smoking weed at the Continuum Club talking shit with T to the motherfucking K, babe. First time I ever met him, blew some dynamite weed with it. He hit the motherfucking stage and was on fire. T to the motherfucking K, babe. At the Continuum Club in the bathroom getting high with Eddie, baby. Before he hit the stage, baby. Understand that I got to get your head right. And this is America Real True Street Crime on Patreon. Coming in telling you I got to drop a show and a story for you all. And I appreciate all my Patreons from the bottom of my heart. And I got to give you a shout out and a thank you and a peace and a love. Understand that peace and love and have a wonderful day, baby. Because this is America Real True Street Crime on Patreon. And this is one about Big Ed, baby. He got so big, when we started off, Big Ed got so big after I went to bringing keys every goddamn day riding that highway from Detroit. Big Ed started off, he had a new jack. We rolling like I just told you. When I looked up Big Ed and we got a bodyguard, a chauffeur, slash butler, understand Big Ed that went from small time to the super time, baby. When I met him, he was getting down and he was big time. But we gonna make it even bigger of a time, baby, when I join the party. Understand that. As they used to say, the party don't start till I walk in. And that's the real, baby. If you want to get it on, the party don't start till I walk in. Because I'm going to bring it back to Detroit and get it on, baby. D-Town, that old English D. That's where we come from, baby. Real, true street crime. On YouTube, Real True Street Crime on Patreon. But we come from D-Town, baby. We might be in the hot Fort Lottie Daddy, baby. And it's going down, down here, too. Understand that. We make it happen wherever we go, baby.